Hey everyone, Carrie Beck here with FamilyEbiz.com, where we help families start their online business and scale it to the next level. We are in the middle, well, we're actually finishing an entire series on the three systems that you need to be able to scale your business. We've already talked about the discovery system, how do people discover you, relationship, how do we build relationships, that's a no, the like. Now we want them to trust you, and we're going to focus on the sales system. You need those other two in place. They are the foundation before you can make money. This sales system is all about how do we make money. So we are going to talk about three areas in this sales system. We're going to talk about your funnel, your payment system, and your customer support. Let's start with our sales funnel. And I've talked about this before, so we'll go a little quickly, but sales funnel, think about a funnel that goes like this. And at the top, you've got it really wide. These are your lead magnets, your free resource that you are giving out, free content, all right? I give that out in a blog. I give that out in a podcast. I give that out in YouTube videos. That is just general, and social media as well. And so that is the beginning of the funnel. They start to know you, and then... They may sign up for one of your lead magnets, which is a free item in an exchange for your email. It is what we sometimes call an ethical bribe. And the cost of getting your lead magnet is their email address. They're not paying any money. They're just paying their email address. So we start with the free content. Then we get a little narrower, if I can do this, um, to our lead magnet. Then we're going to talk about our low cost items, maybe 20 and under. Just sort of depends on your niche. But those are entry items that we want to get them buying really quickly as they enter into that funnel. Then we have our mid-range and then our high top end, maybe elite coaching. That's at the very bottom of this funnel. Think about when you pour water in a funnel and it comes through. There's a lot at the top and there's a little bit less down there at the bottom. The thing about it is we need to have all of these things in place. We need to know this to make it actually work. And the way your funnel is going to work the best is when you have it in conjunction with your social media, your blog, and most importantly, your email system. All right. So you want to make sure that your email autoresponders, your email, whatever, but you've got an email funnel that's carrying them from the um, just the content to the lead magnet and all the way down to your high end. Some people aren't gonna make it to the bottom instantly. Some of them don't have the money. Some of them don't have the time. Some of it is just not the right fit for them right now. There's a lot of things that can go on. But for some people, this is exactly where they want. They want that high ticket item. One thing you need to do is you need to watch out for a leaky funnel. Where do they get stuck? And if everyone's like getting to this point and no one's going all the way down to the high ticket item, then you've got a problem. Where are they falling out and not taking action? You'll have to analyze to see what that is, but you need to pay attention and then tweak your funnel so that you keep them moving down into the higher ticket price. What is your to-do today on sales funnel or this week? I would encourage you to get a piece of paper and draw a sales funnel. And at the top, what kind of weekly content, free weekly valuable content? What's your lead magnet? Actually, what I would probably do is start at the bottom with whatever that product is. That's the high ticket. Is there a mid-range product? And is there a low-cost product? What's your lead magnet? And then where's your content? And that's what you probably need to draw out. You've got to have that really solid in order to be able to move forward. Otherwise, you're just throwing spaghetti on the wall and who knows what sticks and your people are going to be confused because they don't see any continuity with all of it. So draw your sales funnel, then check your emails to see, are your emails moving them through the funnel as well? First thing. Uh, sales funnel. The next thing I want to talk about along with that are our special offers. These are things called bump, tripwire, upsell, downsell, cross-sell, one-time offers, all these ways of adding to your bottom line when they check out with you. It's sort of like Amazon. Customers who bought this also bought this. Or here, we're going to bundle these three items, and one of them is the item that you are actually um on that page. And so they're cross-selling. A lot of cross-selling. That means you're giving them ideas of other items that you have that go along with their initial purchase. 
So you want to encourage them to explore other items. And these are that. Your bump is on your shopping cart page. Your tripwire is on your thank you page when they sign up for a lead magnet. Your upsell is a higher price item when they check out. Your downsell is a lower price item. <clears throat> so if they hit your cart and they don't buy, then you want to give them a downsell, a lighter version of that. Maybe they abandon the cart. And so you may want some abandoned cart emails to follow up and give them a lower price item. And then we are turning an abandoned cart into an actual sale. It's better to make $10 than nothing because they've invested in you. They're more likely to read and invest in you again and again. So when it comes to special offers, I would encourage you to look at all your products and find a place that you can add a down sell. What is a lower price item in your sales funnel that you can add a down sell, just one down sell and see if you can keep that, um, keep that person from being a zero sell to at least a low price item. Track your cart abandonment. Look at your cart abandonment and be able to see, um, tag those people and then send them some follow-up emails with that down sell and see if that improves a little bit. Sales funnel, special offers, shopping carts and delivery. All right, this can really make a difference between a sale or not. If they land on your checkout page and they're confused because there's so much on there, they're just going to leave and do something else. Now, PayPal is a really easy place to start, and that's what I recommend, but it may not instill confidence with your niche. So you may need to pay for a shopping cart of some sort. With your older audience, they are probably offline, and so you're going to need to find some ways that you can instill comfort and confidence that they can actually buy something. I think it's important that you offer different payment options like PayPal. Some people don't like PayPal right now, so they just took PayPal off as a way to pay. They're only going to take credit cards. I don't recommend that either because a lot of people think of PayPal as their free money as well. And so that would be something that I would look at. And you might, one of the things I'm looking at is adding Apple Pay, because I think that is a very popular payment method that I haven't included. You might need to make this professional. WooCommerce is a free plugin. Personally, I don't really like it, but it's a free plugin and a lot of people use it. But it may not give your audience the right image, that professional image that you need. Y'all know me, if you've heard me anytime, I love Thrivecart. It's a one-time price, no more monthly payments. So if you're going to have to invest in a, a shopping cart, go ahead and invest in something that is just a one-time payment. In less than a year, I started saving money from the amount I was paying out every month. And so the ride cart offers you a shopping cart and a member's area. So you can deliver what you have there and you can shopping cart, you can check out. They have the best marketing. They have automatic. You can just check a box and add a bump. And then check a box, add an upsell or a downsell or a cross sell. Super, super easy to use. You need to make sure that you are delivering digital products automatically. If someone bought a product on Friday night at 8 p.m. and they have to wait till Monday for you to physically send it to them, they're going to jump ship and ask for a refund. Again, Thrive Cart, Thrive Learn, you can just automatic, you're in that product. You just check off which product in your Thrive Learn you want to deliver and when they their pro, when their order goes through it automatically um, gives them uh, membership access to that as well so what you need to do is you need to review your current shopping cart does it need updating is it still serving you and your customers how could you make it better and then the last thing is customer support. It isn't really the last thing. It's something that you really need to pay attention to. You need to give the best support possible because if you don't have good customer support, they're jumping ship. It even starts before the sale. When we have people asking questions about you know, where this lead magnet is or a question about a product, we want to answer them as quickly as possible. That is not instant answers, but I personally think as long as they're answered within 24 hours, um, that is a good response for our for our business. That's how I have it set up. You also um, could do customer support through email. There is something called onboarding. And if they buy a product and then they get some follow-up emails explaining how to access their, their purchase, how to use their purchase, you don't want them to just buy something and it sit there. 
You want to encourage them to use it over and over again until they get transformation. And you can encourage them through an email series as well. You can offer encouragement. That's what some of my onboarding series does as well. You might need a help desk. I don't know what your business is, but a help desk might be a fast way for you to be able to deal with customer service. And I will tell you, a lot of times we just have some um, canned responses that for certain questions, we can just copy and paste and it doesn't take very long. So right now, what you need to do is create. I would in, uh, encourage you, how are you going to offer help? By email or by a platform? Choose one and then dive into that and make sure that people on your team know how to use it. And then also, I would check your follow-up systems, your onboarding emails. Those are the ones that will actually help reduce your your frustration. A lot of times they won't even go to customer service because you've already answered a lot of the questions. You might even throw in an FAQ page so they know exactly what they need to do and where to go and when to get it. So, so this is our sales system. You've got to have different areas. You have got to have a funnel. You want to add special offers. You want a, a shopping cart that delivers your products quickly and then a great customer support system as well. The three systems, again, are discovery, relationship, and sales. Get these things in order and working, and you will see an increase in your sales as well. All right, I'm Carrie Beck, familyebiz.com. We'll talk to you next time.